Greetings and salutations, Geo Nerds. So what's this beautiful Bayside suburb? It used to be a working man's uh, resort now, the haunt of millionaires, down on the Bayside of Brisbane. What's it got to do with? This thumping great caves of steel thing, pro tip, it's Chermside. And this unbelievably beautiful reserve on the north side of Brisbane. Oh, it's nice. Hang, Hang on, on, we'll find, find out together. together. Again, Roma Street Station heading out on another adventure. This one is for Downfall Creek and uh, it's going to be fun. Let's give it a go. Well, here we are, folks, over South Bank looking at the Wheel of Brisbane. It's so big. Anyway, we're going to whiz through the city. Hey, try doing that with a cheaper drone. There is no cheaper drone than this one. Uh, we've got to get up north. We've got to get a bit of a wiggle on because it's actually, even though it's a small creek, it's a fairly long video. We're heading up over the north side there, out across into the bay because, you know, we're going to get out around Shawncliffe. We're just going to whiz past there's Redcliffe and the Hornybrook Bridge and all that. Sandgate, Deegan, and here is Shawncliffe, and this is Cabbage Tree Creek. And we're not going up Cabbage Tree Creek, we're going to take the creek to the, to the left here, which is Nunda Creek. And uh, we're going to head up there, and we'll go through all these beautiful marshlands here. There's a nice, uh, really nice visitor centre down there. You should check that out, the Boondle Wetlands. Through here, still Nunder Creek, heading over towards Virginia. And just on this golf course here, it turns from Nunder Creek into Downfall Creek. Just crossed uh, Gippie Road there, over into Virginia itself, coming through here. It's a gorgeous creek through here. Uh, we'll look at the geology of this, because it's a very clean, clear creek. Uh, coming through the back of uh, Hendra here, Coming up to Chermside, there's the Chermside Shopping Centre, the old Australian Taxation Office. Hi oh, guys, you missed me? I don't want to know. Anyway, all up through here. This is lovely through here. You can't walk all of this because it's private property. There's the roadie road roundabout there. The creek goes underground there, then it pops up again in that beautiful Huxtable Park Reserve. Turns into a drain, then it goes through the Raven Street Reserve, which is absolutely stunning. We'll talk more about that. Through another drain. It's a real contrast, this creek, it winds through the suburb here and then it pops up, private property, pops up behind the shopping centre there and the big hospital and it ends just here and that's our old mates, North Pine Road. It ends up in those houses there, all private property. Let's check some more out. Well, Gianna, it's Downfall Creek. Well, it actually starts out as, of course, Nunder Creek down at Shawncliffe, winds its way through the lovely little uh, flats there all the way up into the Virginia Golf Club through um, the bottom end of Nudgee. And right there is where it joins a creek from Zillman's Waterholes. And it becomes Downfall Creek at that point. Runs up through Virginia, up through Chermside, up through Everton Hills. And uh, let's have a look here. This is back in the um, oh, 1920s, I think. But it's just such a cool map. Look at the right out. It's all hand done. No printing. Here we are coming up. You can see there Zillman Waterholes. That's where the uh, creek joins on that drains Zillmia. From there upwards is Downfall Creek across the uh, railway line there at Virginia. See some names there, Mr. Bilson, Mr. Murphy, um, of course, Marchant, Mr. Marchant later on. And here's the Zillman Waterholes Junction here, a little closer, it's a later map. Very nice actually, this map. I love these old maps. Here's the LIDAR down there. Just have a look at that. Uh, there's the junction there where Zillman Waterholes comes. You can see that uh, raised area there. We'll look more in that on the walkabout. Just track it up. It's a little hard to follow here, so I've done a track for you. That starts at the uh, road at Virginia, runs through Chermside there, up into Everton Hills, and that's where it ends, just there. Just past uh, Old Northern Road, or uh, Old North Road, or Old Northern Road. Here's the geology. Uh, lots going on here, but basically the Aspley Formation um, and big lumps of uh, sandstone. Nudgy, you can see Nudgy there, that great big uh, brown area. That's a big piece of the uh, Ipswich Coal Formations. Magnetic anomaly map. Yeah, there's magnetic anomalies here, especially to the west where the, uh, the volcanics have got hold of it. This is uh, Virginia, 
in the 1890s, colorized of course, but looks good, cattle over there. Um, this is the Hamilton, um, Mr. Hamill, Andrew Hamilton's uh, wife ran the post office, uh, and this is his blacksmith shop. Guess where? Hamilton Road, duh. Anyway, nice old fella by the sound of it. And this is Hamilton Road, the way it used to cross Downfall Creek. That bridge is still there, and we go across that. And uh, that became ridiculous, so they did this to it. Great big roundabout. Almost impossible to walk across. You want to try that one day. Here's Andrew Hamilton. They're doing this. This is, a bit, this is a really crappy photo. Uh, but there he is, Andrew Hamilton. Blacksmith, of course. Hard-working, black-handed man. Speaking of which, these are the Velnagel brothers. Uh, blacksmiths as well. And we'll, we'll see them uh, in our little walkthrough. We'll walk past their, uh, their shop. Packer Place. Hey, this is at the Hamilton Road intersection. This is the um, to mark the... Uh, you can pause this and read that. It's about the tanneries. And here's the tannery. That white stuff on the ground always looks like snow. That's how they dried the wool. After they cleaned it, they laid it out in the sun. You see that a lot. Um, Kmart, a little bit further up the road, but never yeah, so behind that is the creek. 1973, I remember that place, it was great. Here we are, this is a uh, very model of a modern major general. Mr. Herbert Chermside, Sir Herbert Chermside, GCNG BC. God calls me God and the Order of the Knights of Bath. Yeah, I hate these honours. Anyway, that's his Order of the Knights of Bath medal that he got. And, um, of course, we've seen these before. God Calls Me God, GCMG of uh, St. Michael and uh, St. George. I hate them. Anyway, let's move on. Uh, this is Marchant's Park. Those circles are the cricket pitches. And I just thought I'd zoom down here to the um, where the creek runs across the road. And we'll walk all through here down here and you can see this is in 1975 and they're just starting to do the big roundabout work there and they're um, knocking down the old tannery and re, uh, repurposing all that there. We'll look a little more into that in another map. So uh, here we are, this is 1945. Quite a bit less development, no churm side of course. And uh, as you can see, she's a bit of bush and they're amazing grazing cattle here. They run cattle on this, dairy cattle in some places. Uh, and you can see the old road down there at um, Hamilton Road, the big zigzag. They got rid of that. The tannery is still there. If you see that building next to it, the tannery. And that black thing is its settling pond. So the, I've said before, the history of Brisbane is the history of tanneries. And um, yeah, they were always on creeks because they dumped all their effluent into the creeks. They were disastrous. But you know, we had to build the city. Well, there we have George Marchant, the man who... Uh, Basically donated all the land for Marchant's Park, most of it anyway, and here's the, uh, in uh, World War I, 1916, on Marchant's Park. Well folks, we're down here at the bird hide at the uh, Boon, Boondall uh, Wetlands area, but of course we're looking over towards Shawncliffe and we're looking across the junction of Cabbage Tree Creek and Nunder Creek. And uh, Shawcliffe's just a beautiful place, it always was. I used to come down here when I was a kid because you could catch a train and you can still catch a train down to Shawcliffe. You gotta do something on those cliffs one day, have a bit of a look around and uh, there's a lot of rocks over there, it's worth having a poke around. Anyway, there's the junction. Uh, that's where it starts, Downfall Creek starts, that's the, the sea end. And we're gonna, uh, we got there by getting off the train at Boondall, as you do, and walking down to the, uh, to the uh, wetlands. So let's have a little bit of live audio. Well, here we are, folks. We're in the Boondle Wetlands. It's a really nice place to be. It's beautiful. It's early in the morning. It's only about nine o'clock in winter. It's really nice. Not a sponsor. I strongly encourage you to come and visit this place. We're on our way down to the mouth of what is, when it's down here, it's Nudgy Creek. But we're going to follow it until it turns into Downfall Creek. And we'll follow it right up to its source. However, we won't be able to get right to the source because it's on private property. But we will be able to get within a few hundred metres of it. So anyway, let's continue on. Now I did record a whole heap of nice audio here, but unfortunately the traffic noise is so bad it was useless, so I'm doing this again. I apologise. 
There's the uh, possum overpass there going over the top, letting the possums get across the road without becoming, um, well, you know, dead. <laughs> oh, sorry to laugh, but, you know, it seems an awful lot of money to go to, but I suppose the possums have got to write. they got to live. There it goes, across the freeway. I don't know how many of you would be interesting to see if they've got cameras on it. Walking along here, we come up to this little creek here. Um, it's a really nice looking little mangrove creek. Um, I reckon you drop some uh, crab pots in there, you'd have a feed of crabs, no problem at all. Mud crabs could not resist that in the right uh, tide and the right time of year. That's the, what they like, uh, for sure. Nice bridges here. This is great walking infrastructure and riding infrastructure down here. It is fantastic. They've done a great job. I can't remember the name of that creek. Uh, I might have to look it up on a map, I think. I'm not too sure, but anyway. Um, yeah, the traffic was unbelievably loud there that day. They go past there and they ain't. They are open for business, let me tell you. So we're going along now towards uh, Nudgee, of course. Now that coast, what you see up there, that, that high area behind those poles, that's an old coastline. And you can see it in the LiDAR. If you go back to the LiDAR, you can see that coastline where obviously the coast has eroded that, uh, that nudgy rock away at some stage. It's amazing. There's a radio tower there for an AM broadcast station. I can't remember which one. No, I really can't remember. But uh, this is an awesome path, by the way, to walk through here. You walk through to the back of Nudgy, and uh, lots of uh, lovely wildflowers. It just was a beautiful day. This was a little while ago. I've had this footage for a while. It was back in winter, actually, when it was a bit cooler. As uh, our mate uh, Jed Builder found out, Jed Builder, you don't go out in this heat, it'll kill you, it's nasty stuff. But anyway, this is beautiful, big AM radio station, power lines there, lovely little wildflowers. Um, I like, uh, I, I must take more photos of the wildflowers I come across in the bush. I look at them, but I like an idiot, I forget to get my camera out, take some photos of them because, you know, they're fleeting things sometimes. Up in uh, Banya, Banya, up in Nudgee itself here, the, this was a shock. I did not know this existed. And there it is. Quite a complex uh, complex shed there. And on the side of the railway line, the, I don't know, it is what it is. There's a train coming in. I won't talk. Yeah, you can hear the train coming in. It's uh, Nudgee Station. A lot of development work going on down here then. These paddocks have been torn to shreds, they're digging things up, putting in sports grounds, putting in uh, new unit developments, I mean, 200 metres from a railway station, who would want to live there? Well folks, we're in the back blocks of Nudgee here, the creek's just off to our right over there, unfortunately as you can see she's all fenced off, not sure why, but anyway, it is. We can get through the fence up here, we will go and have a look. And we're just about to arrive at the Virginia Golf Club. Here we are, we've um, hmm, found our way into the Virginia Golf Club here. And uh, this is what the creek looks like when you get into the uh, Downfall Creek. It is nearly, nearly um, up and there's the junction there. That's actually the Zillman Waterholes Creek. There's the junction behind that pole and that bridge is over truly over Downfall Creek. And uh, yeah, I couldn't get near it. There was that horrible weed. Someone could tell me what that's called. I used to call it kudzu, but I don't know what it's called. I'm making that up. I don't know where I got it from. But uh, yeah, there's the junction. Uh, when it rains, and rains big time, believe me, this place will be open for business. Uh, that's as close as I could get. That's Downfall Creek going underneath us there. Beautiful old paper bark there in the foreground. And uh, there it is going up through the golf course there. You know, T-Rox is not a big fan of golf clubs. You know, they're a bit uh, elitist for my liking, and uh, some of the people there are not very nice. I've had people actually be rude to T-Rox, which is not very often. But as you can see, they look after the creek well, not. It's absolutely full of crap. Matter of fact, the crappiest part of this creek is on this golf course. Guys, if you're going to use this creek to water your greens or whatever, and I know you do, there's no problem with that, but could you at least look after it, you know, clean it up. And when I say clean it up, look at this garbage. This is just yuck, just detritus. All sorts of garbage. I think I counted about eight golf balls, just full of absolute crap in the creek there. And I've walked this creek from end to end and this is as bad as it gets. And of course, it's on the Virginia Golf Club. So anyway, not a fan, never gonna change it. 
I'm six foot four, I weigh about 140 kilos, and I've got a bit of an attitude, and they're still rude to me. They're brave, I'll give them that. They are holding sticks, but anyway. Here we are walking along up towards uh, Virginia. Beautiful tracks up here going under uh, Gympie Road. Gympie Road? No, not Gympie Road, Sandgate Road. Disregard that. But the creek is beautiful up here. Actually, I think it is Gympie Road. I think I've got this whole shot out of sequence, but anyway, looks pretty good. Let's keep it. Um, and um, yeah, you can see the creek is gorgeous up here. Just, just cleans up as soon as you get off the golf course. Uh, heading up towards Virginia Station. Virginia Station was a find. I haven't been on Virginia Station for 40 years and I actually caught the train out of here and came back so a, a week later and finished this and my god the Virginia Station is a lovely station. Tucked in under the overpass there. Really nice place. So here we are. These are the bridges. What a menagerie of bridges here. You've got like the bypass. You've got Sandgate Road one way. Sandgate Road the other way. Then you've got the railway line. It just goes on. The bridges just keep going. There's a high bridge because there's an overpass there, and all it goes. As I said before, the history of Brisbane is the history of tanneries, and this is actually a place where they had brickworks. There you go. I'll spread this up a bit because, you know, these paths are interesting, but they can be a little boring. Uh, it's like this all the way. These paths are fantastic. As you can see, the creek's now nice and clear. Still got a bit of uh, lantana growing on the side, on the other side there, but it's a really really nice creek worth walking it there's a lot of geology down here we'll look into a bit of that so uh what have we got here oh yeah that was there's a big uh, another bridge that's the rail line and yeah, more transit and uh we'll hear a bit from um from local t-rocks as soon as this creek climbs out of the virginia golf course Stops getting filled up with golf balls, soft drink bottles, and other detritus. It looks really beautiful. So this is Downfall Creek, just at Virginia, behind the Virginia School. And I'd like to say that rock over there is some bedrock, but it isn't. It's got bits of concrete in it, so as soon as I see some bedrock, I'll bring you back. Oh, there we go, folks. We're transit again. Oh, there's a Bunnings trolley. Bunnings is a fair way back here. Long way out, I bet they don't find it. Anyway, cruising along, beautiful creek again, nice and clear. Saw a few turtles in there and a few fish. Didn't see any catfish, but they're pretty smart. They uh, tend to stay out of the way, especially in the middle of the day, which is where we were here. Just a really pretty creek. A lot of footprints down there. I'd say some kids have been playing down there. Bit of anti-scour on the side of the bridge there to stop it from washing away yet again. It won't. It'll wash away. It just takes time. As you can see, a very pretty little walk. And one thing about walking creeks in Brisbane, I can tell you, it's all pretty flat. Because creeks, you know, they might flow uphill, but not very much. This is the back of Virginia here. Um, again, just a gorgeous path, lovely trees, nice people too. Everyone said good day. It's really good. Good bridges if you're on a bike, pushy, scooter, doesn't matter. Have a ball down here. You can see why these creeks define Brisbane because all the early industry, which let's be real, were mainly meatworks, tanneries, and brickworks, all required water. And they had good water in the well, they did until they put tanneries on them. They'd be drinking it. You might want to use it for industrial, but that certainly would be drinking it. So we're cruising through here, heading up towards, um, I can't remember that, right? Anyway. Big road runs through the middle. This part of the creek here, guys. It, this is where it goes across three different geological stratas in about 100 metres. This is the Newman Road Bridge coming up here. And I will pop a geological map up and show you the three stratas we've just came through. Uh, just up here there is some bedrock and we'll get some images of that. But down here it's still all buried in, uh, pretty heavily buried in uh, quaternary gravels. A little bit more in a minute. There we go. I did scavenge some of the audio, wasn't too bad. Heading up towards, um, really up into Marchant's Park now. 
what is now Marchant's Park, Marchant's Paddock, Sparks Paddock, we're on behind Germside. They're all the uh, big apartment blocks, uh, Kitty Hawk Drive, which by the way was named after a nasty accident. If you get a chance, read the history of that. An aircraft crashed there in 1943 and everyone was killed and it was a Kitty Hawk. That's why it's called Kitty Hawk Drive. Anyway, here we are now. <laughs> Skippy Road. Again, sorry about that. Ah, it was too good to take out. I liked it. Um, actually, I don't think this is Gimpy Road. This is actually Kitty Hook Drive, let's be real. But the creek is just gorgeous here. You can just walk in a shady day, paddle in the, in the, on the sand there. A really nice place. And the infrastructure down here is fantastic. It's a bit, a bit rough further up, but it's pretty good down here. And the creek has been somewhat unmolested. I mean, you can see the anti-scour in there, those big lumps of uh, granite to protect the bridges, etc. But uh, apart from that, it's just left to run and it's really nice, very clean, very clear. Because we've got good rock types up here. We're nearly on back on shale. Anyway, let's get back to local tea rocks. Well, here we are, folks. This is the Gimpy Road Bridge over Downfall Creek. Just a culvert, really. Nowhere near big enough. When it really buckets down, it just comes straight over it. And uh, we're standing in Marchant's Park. And over the road there, those buildings, is where the Valnagel blacksmithery was from about the early 1900s through to about 2002. And uh, hopefully you've seen some information about that in the previous uh, section of this video, but uh, I went to school with one of the Valnagels. I don't remember much. So long ago it was in black and white. But uh, I think I played sport with him or against him or something. can't remember. Anyway. Onwards, we've got to cross this damn road now. Well, there you go. We made it across the road. Here's the old Valnagel brothers. This was operational when I was a kid growing up. I went to Aspley High. And, uh, yeah, and uh, the uh, the kids were over there, Valnagels. They're still around. That's a, not, an, not a common name, but there's quite a few of them on the north side. And uh, there you go. I think, I believe the forge in there is heritage listed. Can't, yeah, they can't mess with it. Here's a little bridge. Used to catch swordfish in this creek when I was a kid and used to sell them to the local pet shops. Make traps out of old cordial bottles. That was a long time ago. So long ago, I think it was actually in black and white. I know I've used that joke before, but it's there. I didn't know about this, the Chermside cattle dip. Until I walked past it, didn't know anything about it. They used to put the cattle through arsenic-laced water to kill the ticks. Now, you have to ask, did any of that water end up in the creek? You know it did. You know it did. If you want to read the details, I've tried to keep it on there a bit, but just uh, the camera did a pretty good job actually of uh, catching it. Just pause it, go back. Here's the actual dip itself, what's left of it, to try and keep the ticks in and out of Brisbane. Good on them. Uh, they were endlessly ingenious, these people. Structures over there in the bush, not much to see, a few old bits of wood. Beautiful. This is one of the most beautiful parts of this track, this walk through here, just uh, to the west of uh, Gimpy Road. Just an amazing place. The creek is beautiful, it's clear, it's growing on bedrock in most places. By the time we get here, we're pretty much back on shale. If you noticed in that magnetic anomaly map I showed earlier, that pink and red area is the shale. That's been altered. Little bush turkey there, wasn't scared of me, I'll tell you that. Speed these up a bit for you guys. These things are pretty, but they're boring. Um, this is around behind all the new developments to the over the road from Chermside Shopping Centre. So these are the new units and whatever poking through on the creek. Do a fine job as far as I'm concerned. Stack people up, who cares? Looks great. Probably not so great for the people on this side, but anyway. Here we are. I made it onto the Hamilton Road roundabout. Just don't. It's damn dangerous. There's no easy way to get onto this. Here's that bridge you saw earlier. Still there, being preserved, which is great. Either it was uh, too expensive to knock down or someone wanted to keep it. Sorry about the shadow in the photo, guys. But, you know, I didn't see it till it was too late. These paper bucks were planted, well, they're not that old. Here we are on the upstream, the, uh, side, of the upstream side of roundabout. the whole roundabout. And this and, is what uh, passes for Yeah, they just buried it. It's a tunnel. There's big lumps of shale there. Look at that's from up around Petrie, that green stuff. So in normal Amazing weather, stuff, greenstone. There's a tunnel up in here, you know. That some, is down for creek. Here's the creek bed, which is now grass because it's been culverted. 
anyway we'll walk up it a bit further and see what pops up I think it turns back into a creek again a little further up you know someone more adventurous than I might want to explore that tunnel hey John don't I'm joking just don't do it <laughs> just don't man <laughs> I know where it goes anyway and he's the other end of the downfall creek underground portion breaking out into Huxtable Park behind a small weir and it's a beautiful looking creek again so folks Huxtable Park hey this is bordered by Redbourne Street just fond memories for me from my younger days really nice place and uh, this wasn't here then this was pretty much a bit yucky but now it's just fantastic a mate of mine years ago was involved in the group that look after this and they were very passionate about it and you can see their work is well and truly worth doing look what they've left for their children as this little rainforest grows which it will do uh, it's just absolutely beautiful it would have been 10 degrees cooler in there than it was outside that's what the creek looks like there you know, those big figs growing they're just going to look absolutely fantastic but of course um, good intentions and uh, no one lives anywhere forever so people move on but this is what they leave behind for the next generation it's lovely stuff unfortunately none of those rocks are native they're all from um, most of them are granite from uh, over at uh, Capera but you know what do you do can't go digging the place up just to get rocks to fill it in it doesn't make any sense but this Huxtable Park's lovely lots of taps in there safe for the kids really nice place and the creek's gorgeous here it really is so we're heading up now towards uh spatter up a bit up towards uh Maundrill terrace uh we get a really good view of the bridge here because there's a fair bit of foliage growing but uh it's not really a bridge they're all culverts here so there's the, there's the bridge that's Maundrill terrace you don't realize it when you're driving across it that's what it looks like just a bunch of pipes and when it rains it those pipes really get going but uh, anyway, it's local T-Rocks will tell you some more. Hey folks, well here we are back again. Still on the uh, Downfall Creek. This has been a surprise, this creek. I thought it was boring. It's not. It's great. We're in a place called Melaleuca Green. Just upstream of Maudrill Terrace, where it intersects with Redbourne Street. And the reason I'm giving you those is, I'll pop the map up in a minute, but we've just crossed from three different rock types again. And we're now back on the good old Brisbane Philite. So uh, we should stop, oh, unfortunately the creek's a concrete drain as you can probably see in the background. So we should see some bedrock soon, we'll have a look. Anyway, onwards and upwards, not far to go. Well folks, we're in the Raven Street Reserve, a beautiful area on shale lots of bedrock exposed in these creeks here we've come away from downfall creek briefly it's only a few hundred meters away but we've got to go where the path takes us so we will bring back me back when i've got something more to show you so this is over near roadie road this is the end of the raven street reserve um still a bit of flood detritus down there because this flooded about oh, a month before i got there but it's just fantastic, lovely place. And here's a little creek on the other side of Roadie Road. Concrete canyons all the way. Anyway, let's follow it. It'll probably turn back into a creek again, I think. Let's see. Well, folks, here we go. Downfall Creek. Upstream of Patton Street. Beautiful concrete drain. Ugly old natural creek. Oh, sorry, I'll get that back to front. But anyway, I have no idea what's been going on here with design, but it is what it is. 
here we are folks, beautiful down Crawl Creek. Cutting through the shale, there's the shale bedrock it's cut into over there. And it comes through here and goes under the road. But unfortunately, on the other side of the road, there is supposed to be a path. What we have is, for some reason, we've got DevCon construction with it all closed off. They've got a nice cutting up there I wouldn't mind looking at, but that's life. Well, folks, I found you a shale exposure. This is up the back of that uh, little blue blood school they've got there, but uh, it's a fairly argillitic shale here. I was quite surprised, actually. It's uh, more of an argillite than a shale, but it's uh, certainly got the strata dipping down about, uh, I'd say, about 30 degrees. And, uh, yeah, it's quartz veined. Not a lot of it, but there is quartz veining in there. And you can see the uh, topsoil there. Who knows how that's been messed with. But there's some interesting rock here, some very interesting rock. So when we moved on from there, this is the actual downfall creek running through the school. This is what it looks like. A little say when it rains, it looks a bit bigger than this, but that's the creek right there. We're not too far from the source now. So it's not as big a creek. It's not draining as big an area. But uh, yeah, they've learnt to do that to it. And local T-Rox will tell you a bit more about the next bit. Well people, this is as close as we can get to the source. It's just down in that valley there. And everything above that is now underneath houses. But even if we could get to the actual source, it would only be a few hundred metres from here. It's been a long walk, a lot of fun. This is just to the north side of Flockton Street. Just north, of, just near where it intersects South Pine Road. So you can see it, it's quite easy. Although I don't believe the creek is marked. Well, here we are folks, South Pine Road. Out at Everton, Everton Hills, I think it is. And here is the beginning of Downfall Creek. A couple of ducks down there looking for water. Good luck, guys. That's what it looks like. It starts all the way and it comes right back down to where we were near Shawnport. This is on the grounds of some Anglican place. Then it goes into some Catholic place. Then it goes behind a hospital and you've seen everything from there. We can't get to those places. Well, folks, there it is over the road, the source, private property, can't go there, of course, but I've got to cut this a bit short. It's going to be a long video. I don't do 30-minute videos anymore, but uh, here we go. So, Downfall Creek done. Here we are on Roma Street Station on our way home, and uh, it's been a long walk, but well and truly worth it. I enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Next one's going to be Cabbage Tree, actually Little Cabbage Tree Creek. At one place there at Raven Street, Little Cabbage Tree Creek is only 50 metres away from Downfall Creek. It's amazing. Anyway, thanks to all the new subscribers. I see you and I really appreciate it. And you know what I'm going to say? Keep rocking. T-Rocks out.